record that one. Check this out, guys. Good morning, everybody. We're fishing perch on Lake Cascade. Fishing about 31 feet of water today, getting suspended fish. And uh, we'll see if we can get some on camera for you. See how the morning goes. There's the first one. All right, it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. We'll see how big this one is. He doesn't look too big. But stay tuned. Should be a decent bite. They're eating bloodworms today, but that may change as the day goes on. There we go. Little guy. Just gonna release her. We'll probably keep a few later, but so far that's a good start. Fish came up nine feet before he bought me and I missed him on the hook set. They've been doing that, they've been just hitting the tail and not hitting the jig in their mouth. Which is different than two days ago. Two days ago they were hammering it. Here comes another one. The whole school of them, they're set up like crappies. Five feet off bottom. And then they come up to nine feet or so, nine or ten feet before they actually hit. I think that one messed up my jig. There's still fish down there, but. What's really important I've found is to make sure that the jig is completely horizontal. Like that. You don't want it vertical. Oh, there's a fish on the red stick. Yes. There he is. Probably that same one. Oh, that's a good one. That's awesome. That's just on the worm. Worm and dead stick. And I'm keeping uh, four fish today to eat, preferably males. I'm letting all the girls go. But that's uh, about a 10 and a half, 11 inch fish. So we'll keep that one. Cool. That's the first fish I got on a dead stick. So it makes it worth it to put it down. But. dead stick rig that I'm using is just a worm and a uh, tiny red hook, a size 6 octopus hook with a little tiny split shot on there. And I throw the worm on, just half of, uh, half of the worm. These are just little night crawlers called uh, trout specials, but just thread it on there just like that, center down. And I'm putting this about 5 feet off bottom. They keep uh, showing up like 5 feet off, off the bottom, suspended. And uh, those are the fish that we're getting. The fish that are showing up on bottom, they're not biting. But the ones um, suspended are definitely the ones that are eating today. The screen is just loaded with perch right now. Stick already. Jeez. Wow, that's a little bit bigger one. There we go. Yeah, that's a nice one. Make sure I don't break my rod here. As soon as I put that worm down here, he hit it. Check this out, guys. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> oh man, just as I put her down there, nice 15 incher. Hit on that worm on the dead stick with just a split shot, hooking a worm. Check that out, huh? That's a good one. Man. All right, I'll show you guys one last time. That's the fish we just got <clears throat> on that dead stick. That is enormous. That's a good representation of Cascade Lake right there. But I'm gonna take a quick picture and then I'll release her.
dead stake back down. That last fish that hit, that was a good one. That was about 14 and a half, I would say. Pushing the two pound mark. I don't know if he was over the two pound mark, but that was a good fish. And uh, I'm still shaking from it. <clears throat> when I was taking the hook out of its mouth, I actually had cut the line, so I was retying my jig, or retying the hook on my line. And uh, I was shaking, I couldn't stop. Shake, it was tough to tie the knot. That's a good fish. I'm fishing by myself today, which I usually don't do. Usually I have clients, but today I uh, have a day off, which is nice because then I can go out and actually find some new spots. Today's been good. We've got, I think, five, five on the ice already. And uh, we're going to keep getting after it. The fish are showing up about two feet off bottom. They're all splitting up uh, blood worms. When you reel them in, they're constantly spitting up these blood worms. Just gobs of blood worms. I'm surprised they even have uh, any room in their bellies to eat. But that last fish was nice. Let's see if we can't get a couple more of them. This is a really unique bite. I've never seen perch act like this. Usually, I mean, they'll come up off the bottom, they'll show up on bottom, they'll come up two feet and either bite it or not. Um, these fish in this spot in particular, and I don't know why it's like this, but they're coming up, they're showing They're showing uh, suspended. You know, they, they come in five feet off bottom and uh, I'm bringing them up to like nine feet or so. And right now I got two of them chasing. So they can't get one. I'm just constantly raising that blood worm plastic up and I don't stop it. They either bite it or they don't. Eventually your rod tip will just load up and uh, obviously set the hook when that happens. Oh my goodness. Oh, he hit it so good too. The one thing I hate about fishing is probably the same thing that keeps me coming back to fishing. And that's if you get a really good fish, really good mark chasing. You do everything right and you get the bite. And then when you go to set the hook and there's nothing there or he's on there for like a half a second that's uh extremely heartbreaking but it's probably the same thing that keeps me coming back because you don't catch all of them you just don't fish on the locator since I started but I'm just trying to get those suspended fish shaking right above it maybe a foot uh, above where the, the top of the fish is just like if you were crappie fishing and then trying to pull one from that school and uh, you can clearly see if one's interested and if or if others aren't even looking at you and then I focus on that one interested fish trying to get him to bite bringing them up all the way to nine feet or 10 feet off bottom today seems to be the ticket. If you show up and you start fishing a spot where there's no marks or there's no numbers, there's no nothing on your locator for say 20 minutes or so, it's time to leave. You gotta find a new spot because the good spots that you'll find will have fish on them, you know, every five minutes, 10 minutes, a school will come through. And usually you can catch one or two out of that school He's gonna crush it. He didn't crush it. <laughs> he went back down.
you, they're not all jumbos. If you come to Cascade expecting to catch all 15 inchers, you're gonna be heartbroken. There are 15 inch perch in here, but there's a lot of perch that are that size. So we're gonna let that one go. So this is the jig I'm using. It's a uh, Norseland tackle, I believe, makes it. But it's that pre-rigged blood worm that they got. Seems to work pretty good. So if you guys want to do this sort of trip, it's kind of a bucket list trip for a lot of people. Uh, first thing I can recommend is going to call Tackle Toms in Cascade, Idaho. They're going to be able to uh, point you in the right direction with lodging, the bite, what's going on, um, setting you up with a guide. That one. Son of a gun. All right. Ooh, that's a nice one. Oh my goodness. representation of Cascade Lake. Not bad, not bad. big fish show up on camera today and they just didn't bite. I put the camera down to about three feet off bottom right now uh, and they're just not, not biting but there are some huge huge marks. Another little guy. Getting quite a few. The last two have been this size but that's okay. It's lunch time so I'm just eating my lunch I'm watching the dead stick on the camera. A lot of fish are coming up to it, and uh, occasionally we'll get a bite. Well, we just got our last eater of the day. It's a nice, probably 11 incher. That'll be enough for me for a meal. A big school, like 20 plus fish rolled in. A lot of big bat 14, 15s, but this was uh, the only one that bit. Well, I just had that one hit the dead stick. Came in on camera, it was a really cool hit. And I set the hook and that's what he was. About a 12, 13 maybe, but real fat female. So we'll let her go. She's got another nice one though. Look what he spit up. These are all blood worms. They all came out of this fish. Crazy. Well, that's gonna do it for today, guys. We had a good day, solid fish in the morning jigging, and uh, quite a few fish on dead sticks today on the worms. So we will uh, see you maybe in a week or so if I can get another video out. But I'm enjoying this, putting some videos out. It's cool showing you guys what I see on camera. A lot of people don't experience that. And uh, the size of fish in Cascade right now is still unbelievable a lot of 16s a lot of 15s and uh but we'll get some later in the season 
So take care, guys. We'll see you soon.